could shut my door windows or I could not. Hello, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carly and this is my channel where I talk about books and stuff and things um, and whatever I feel like it. And today it is a Saturday and it is a very, very nice Saturday. Um, the first nice weekend in a couple weeks. It was so rainy and windy and stormy. It felt like fall here for the last couple weeks, which is very strange. Um, anyway, I thought today I would be doing do a weekend vlog because it is so nice and all I really want to do is go outside and read. And I am currently in the middle of four books and goal for kind of one of the goals I want to have for these next couple days is to actually finish one of those books, which could be done. We shall see. Um, but I think the more realistic goal is that I really want to make a lot of progress in at least one of these books. I have a very specific book in mind for that. So let's just kind of go over what exactly it is that I am reading. So first one I've got going is Teacher of the Year. I've been listening to that as an audiobook. Could have easily finished that a couple days ago, but um, I ran out of listening hours on Spotify and so I couldn't. Um, but I have a paid my numbers and so I'm kind of thinking at some point of just turning on the audiobook and finishing that up and doing the paid my numbers. Uh, so far I think it's okay. Um, it's one of those things where there's a lot of spicy scenes and I don't have an issue with spicy scenes but it's different to read a spicy scene versus listening to a spicy scene. The amount of faces I have made while listening to this book at work is I'm glad I work in a small office and no one has actually seen those faces because I do not want to explain what the heck I'm listening to but it's fun. Like it's fine. I'm it's nothing really to write home about. Um, I've been curious about this series. I probably I know there's a couple more in the series so I might I don't see myself not reading those ones if that makes sense um but I'm kind of wishing I was reading it rather than listening to it. Next one I've got on here is City of Strife by Claudie Arsenault. Um, Teacher of the Year is by M.A. Wardell but City of Strife. Um I never knew anything about this but I was just going scrolling through my just like the Libby LGBTQ list and this came up and it's a fantasy we're following so far like I read like six different characters point of views um not too far into this but this is the book that I'm kind of hoping to finish or at least make a lot of progress on I don't really know how else to explain it let's see 130 years have passed since Erethiel last set foot in his home city Isendor hasn't changed. Bickering merchant families still vie for power through eccentric shows of wealth that he has. His family is long dead, a magical trap has dueled his senses, and he returns seeking a sense of belonging now long lost. Erethiel hides in the lower city, pie piecing together a new life among in a shelter dedicated to the homeless and the poor, befriending an uncommon trio, the shelter's rageful owner, Laren, his dark elven friend, Hasrin, and Cal, the cheese living halfling. When Hasrin is accused of Isendor's most infamous assassination of the last decade, but little piece Erethrel has managed to find for himself is shattered. Harrison is innocent, he thinks, in order to save him, Erethrel may have to shatter the shreds of home he managed to build. Yeah, so far I am enjoying it. Um, it's really, I needed something that wasn't going to be like super heavy because we'll get to the other two books, but they're heavy books because I was feeling down and I was like, you know what, let's just read some heavy books. So yeah, that's the one that I kind of hoping to finish, but like, we'll see. Um, but I do want to make like a shit little progress on that. The other book I have I'm reading is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer. Doer. Um, I picked this up recently at a local bookstore. It was well on their used books card. It was like $11 for a pretty decent hard cover copy and I could not say no, even though um, I've spent the last few years like trying to avoid any and all heavy top books. Um, but here I am trying to break myself out of that because avoiding hard topics that evoke negative emotions like sadness um, is not healthy. But I'm reading that. Um, this is the one I think I could realistically finish this week because it's very easy to read, um, but it is heavy. So I've been trying to take my time to kind of not overwhelm myself with the sadness of what a World War II book kind of comes with. Um, but I am enjoying it about a hundred. 150 something like that pages in um and when I do get reading it does suck me in the writing is very easy to read but it's very um 
what is the word I'm looking for? Lyrical. There we go. And then the last book that I've been reading is Light in Gaza, Writings Born of Fire by uh, Jihad Absulin, uh, Jennifer Bing, Mike Merriman Lutz. Uh, this is a collection of essays uh, from Palestinian authors. Um, it was free from the publisher, so I will, it might still be free. I got this a, a month or so ago, so um, I'll leave that information down below. But um, I've read, only read like a couple of essays and I have really enjoyed it. Weird to say, but um, it's been very insightful. Uh, and um, as someone who doesn't know, I guess as much of what's been going on, it is insightful to be hearing stories of the people that have experienced these years. And again, it's another heavier topic, so I'm trying to go through it and give it the attention that it deserves while giving myself the grace that I kind of need. Um, and my battery is dying. So those are the four books I'm going to read, or try to read. I'm in the middle of reading. We'll read a little bit of all of it this weekend. So. I like my hat. I got it. It's like the cheapest hat I could find when I was in Vegas because I didn't bring a hat. It was like 10 bucks. Um, but it works. Shading the face, which is the most important part. Anyway, I've been reading um, for the past hour, hour and a half or so, switching between this, uh, eating and reading fan fiction. Um, and makes me laugh because I know I said that I wasn't sure that I'd be finishing um, all the light we cannot see because it's heavy and it's hard for me to read stuff like that and here I am I've been spending my time reading that book I also lied earlier when I said I was like 100 150 pages in I was actually 200 I am now 207 pages in there is 530 um, so far it is good if you don't know anything about it which I didn't really know much about it either was that it follows two teenagers one named Marie Lore Lore Marie Lore Lori Lore and she is a French teenager. Her and her dad um, escaped Paris during the occupation and now are living in a like seaside town, also under occupation. And she is blind. The other character we follow is Werner, who is a German teenager uh, who is an orphan, grew up in like a children's house orphanage as thing in a really small mining town. Um, but he has always wanted to be like an engineer and he gets the chance to go to like a really prestigious um, German school where they teach him to be like soldiers and so, and it's sort of him wanting dealing with the confliction of wanting to become this engineer while doing his duty to the country while also kind of realizing that things aren't as great as they as all these teachers and people are um, telling him it's it's interesting to get really both viewpoints um, and to see kind of this awful time in history from both points of view. So yeah, I am liking it and um, I'm hoping to get much more of this read today because I really do just plan to spend like all day out here doing this and it's like one something now so I've still got a lot of time to do this so let's see how much more I can get read today. a lot when I was out there like at all because um neighbors uh started playing some really loud music uh last summer they were playing a lot of bts and there were some bts I heard guilty by Taman um but most of it was a lot of Mexican music but either way it was loud and definitely copyrighted so I didn't update but I did read a shit ton of this book I am on page 474. I started at page 200. This book is 530 pages. This is how much I have left it. I'm going to finish this tonight. I'm going to finish this tonight. We're going to finish this book tonight. I am really enjoying it. Um, I think reading it during the daytime is probably best for me when it comes to these really like heavy topic books. 
and that's why I was able to read so much of this without feeling like super overwhelmed. So yeah, definitely gonna plan to finish this tonight, but it is about like 4.30 now. I came in, clouds came in. I knew we were gonna get some clouds, but I didn't expect it to be like this cloudy. So that's unfortunate, um, but I'm gonna run to the store. It is my mom's birthday tomorrow, so I am going to get her flower, card, and then myself some dinner. She is out right now with one of her friends. And, um, and so now is the time and only time I have to like get that stuff for my mom. Uh, this is the fit. Hi, Lily. Oversized jean jacket I got from um, Old Navy. I got a size larger because I wanted the oversized feel. Tank top, like $10 from Target. Sport is Pop Flex Active. And then Converse. White converse because I'm a white girl shoe gr shoe white shoe girly but I am not a white girl okay I'm gonna run to the store before so that I can spend the rest of the day rest of my night and home not having to do anything all right trip to the store was successful my face faceless now because you're sitting on top of um paper towels all right I still got this flatbread like I am, oh, I got a flatbread. Like, I just look how yummy this is. I've had it before. It's like pesto mushroom. It's a, it's a Greek Greek to me flatbread. Um, pesto mushrooms, and red onion, feta, and olives. It is. It's really good. Like any of these flatbreads from the store is really good. That was good. I got sushi for tomorrow, and then I was gonna get ice cream, just a little treat, and then they had the cookies and cream parfait, which is like. First time I had it was last year and it is so delicious. So really excited about that. And then, yeah, got myself my favorite ice drinks because I don't drink soda. So this is like my soda kick. Please don't tell me it that's any good or bad um, for me. <laughs> and then some nectarines. Don't know how good they are because I got some peaches last week and they weren't great, but they were peaches. Um, so this, and then these are the flowers I got my mom. They're so pretty. Way too expensive, but. And then the card I got was I got it from my mama because I'm always saying I got it from my mom. Let's use in some water. And then we're gonna hide the vase and the card in my room until tomorrow morning when I will inevitably wake up before my mom. And so then I will bring it out and it'll be out in the kitchen waiting for her. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of my night. What? Uh, I'm gonna spend maybe the next couple hours playing video games. Final Fantasy 17, 17, 7, Rebirth, Remastered, Remix. There's an itty bitty rose in here. Itty bitty rose. Baby rose. Good morning. It is Sunday. Um, I did not update last night, but I did finish All the Light We Cannot See. And I really enjoyed this. I gave it like a somewhere around a four, four and a half stars. And yeah, not quite that five star feeling. I'm not sure how much it'll actually stick with me, but the writing was super beautiful. Did break out the taps for a few. And the story was captivating enough that it was really easy for me to get lost into the book. Um, so yeah, I finished that and I'm not gonna lie, I know I said I had a goal of finishing at least one book this weekend, but I did not actually think that I was going to do that. But I did, so that's super great. That still leaves three other books on my reading list and um, Today, I don't know how much reading I will get done like I did yesterday, but um, I'm gonna fo I want to focus on reading, I think it's the City of Strife. Um, that is gonna be the goal for today. But let's go put this in my bookcase.
ignore the wet hair I just got out of the shower and then realized I should update it is much later in the day it's like 6 p.m. now and I've not like updated at all um, but I did read a little bit and then my mom and I went out to lunch with my aunt and just kind of bopped around some little pieces and then when we came back I sat outside for like two hours and read and I was reading City of Strife and I got who pay chapter 18, which is according to my Kindle, page 185. Um, things are happening. Like there's a lot of different points of views, but surprisingly, I am following them pretty easily now. Like it kind of felt overwhelming when like, the first seven chapters were a different point of view. I was like, this is going to be too much, but um, I'm getting it. Uh, it's making sense. And um, the kind of the different the politics and how it all interweaves because not all the characters like know each other yet but they all are connected in some ways um and so that is interesting um one of our characters has been arrested for something that he didn't do which is mentioned i think in the blurb so it's not really like much of a spoiler but i can tell things are gonna get way more interesting because kind of trying to start almost like start a war between two com countries but also a war between like the higher like not ruling class but like the upper class and so yeah I'm interested um and also I said earlier that I found this in like the LGBTQ um the queer set, like book list and like everyone in here is queer there's an asexual there's lesbians there's bisexuals there's gays you name it the trans transgender there is a transgender woman that was just introduced so um you name it it is in here but it's still like reads almost like no, it still reads like a fantasy um you just have all these different teen sexualities and such of the characters which is very very interesting i was wondering if it would be still read the same as a um other fantasy novels i've read than the similar vein and it is um but you just got a lot of queer characters in here and then, so yeah i am liking it so far i will tell you i don't think it's gonna be a new fave but i I'm glad that I am reading it. Might update a little bit like tomorrow or something, but I want to get to like two, page 200, which I think I can do, but right now I'm just gonna like work on a crochet project. Um, read some more comments because they just announced a new Life is Strange game with Max back, so that's that's exciting. Um, and just spend the rest of the evening relaxing. And then if you get an update, it's probably gonna be tomorrow after work. It is literally like a week later um, and I'm just now wrapping this up so we're gonna wrap this up um but I finished my weekend of reading obviously and I did really well last weekend okay I did really well I did end up adding up how many pages I read and I read a total of 461 pages last weekend which is wild I don't typically read that much just because I have a hundred other things I am doing with my life and myself um so yeah that is why I finished all the light we cannot see that was 330 pages I read on Saturday and then I did reach page 204 in the city of strife um and I started on page 73 so that is 131 pages that I read of that on Sunday so together that is 461 pages that is that is a book that is a book I read a book in that last weekend that's how much I read that's what I read um, it felt good to get a couple of books kind of marked off like having about four books on my two like currently reading shelf is a lot for me um, and so it's nice to have those like to have two I finished teacher of the year earlier this week but it's nice to have at least have gotten at least one book marked off last weekend and to have another book marked off over the week that's the video Thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day whatever it is or whatever you're doing um and i'll see you guys with another video soon bye